But we need to do things consistently. Why? Because what happens is when we do something every day, we have a cellular memory. And this includes kindness. It includes being of service. It includes being happy. It includes practicing whatever skill set that you think you need. But if you do it every single day, it gets into your cellular memory. And then it goes from your cellular memory into your subconscious. And what happens when it's in your subconscious is there's neural pathways that are formed in your brain that make things more efficient and effective for what you want. Simply by doing it every day for a certain amount of time. And one of my favorite clients that I represent still today is a kid. His nickname is Too Tall Hall. He plays for the Harlem Trotters. He's the smallest professional basketball player of all time. He's five foot two. Imagine when he was five years old and he dreamed, he slept with his basketball, but he dreamed to be a professional basketball player. Every single person, his parents were three, uh, four foot nine and five foot three. Nobody dreamed that he could do it, he, but he didn't make it his excuse, he made it his story. Five seven wasn't the reason I wasn't a professional basketball player or the winner of the, of the slam dunk contest. Skills, knowledge, and desire were the reason. Right? We all don't have the skills, knowledge, and desire to do everything, but it wasn't my height. I wasn't too small. I wasn't too small. You're not too small. I'm bigger than you. Right? If I ran on you in the street, right, and we're the same age, I would say, oh, finally someone I could beat in basketball. Because in my mind, it was about height, not heart, skill, knowledge, and desire. He has the skills, knowledge, and desire despite dis one disadvantage. His disadvantage is just his height. Other people might be their speed. Other people might be their jump. Other people might be their, their uh, accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. Make it your story. You're not too small for anything. You're not too small to be a multimillionaire. You're not too small to change the world. You're not too small for anything. It doesn't matter. It's only what you perceive. And the way that you get there is consistency. I'm a big believer Every single day you have to be focused. Persistency comes from consistency. You cannot quit and you have to be inspired. Enjoy the pursuit of your potential. So how do, how do we become consistent? And it's something I'm working on is how can I teach people, you know, I, I talk a lot about all these little things. Do it now, student the calendar. We were even talking about some of the things today in the car, Dan, coming over. And I still think to myself, doesn't really matter what I effing teach you if I can't teach you to be consistent. So how do we how can we become more consistent? Number one is awareness. So we, first we have to be aware when we're not consistent. And when we become aware, second is we have to take our ego out of it. Because Immediately, when we're not consistent, how do we feel? Bad, right? And when we put faith in what we don't want, what do we get? More of what we don't want. And the worse we feel about ourselves, the more likely we're not gonna be consistent. And it keeps snowballing. So first is awareness. Second is, okay, now, how, what can I do to make this happen? I believe lowering the bar is the key. We were discussing how I keep the, everything balanced by being of service when I have my own family. And aren't you supposed to be of service to everyone? And how can you be service to your wife and for? Because I'm consistent. 